Every year in August, thousands ascend upon a folk festival in Pennsylvania. The campgrounds feature many different campsites, including Dot World. They have brought dots to the festival for over 10 years. In 2003, they brought controversy. I've been dotted! I've been dotted! I've been dotted. Dots roll. You come to the fest, you get dotted. You remove dots for the next several weeks or months. He dotted me just once. Uh, but it's usually annually I get dotted. I like my one dot on my badge every year. I like the dots. I think they're cool. Guys have lots of fun doing it. Everybody seems to have fun. It's an interesting phenomenon. Yeah, the dot thing. They came in with the sirens on their hats. Right. Yeah, they come in, they had their guns. Little microphones. And at that time, it was exclusive. They were the only ones that did it, and that's what made it fun. It just snowballed into this thing that's totally beyond our control. <laughs> I'm looking for my daughter. Is this my daughter? Kill the dog man! Kill him! Strangle him, murder him, rip his eyeballs out. Yeah, we had a little problem with the dots uh, last year, and uh, you know we found out it was the dot people. It seems like there's a controversy because our dots get damp and they fall off body parts and end up on the ground. They had dots all over the place over there on the campground, and we we spent quite a lot of time picking up dots. Two thousand dots all over the walls, the fences, people. And last year, I had a crew of five people spend two hours picking up dots in one location. S supposedly that somebody left a big patch of dots in Lake Camping somewhere. And sanitation has to pick it up and they, you know, they didn't like it. I can understand not one to them all up off the ground. Last year, we spent an hour in a space this big picking f***ing dots up. They get told that clean up afterwards has got a problem with the dots and I think I would be a little peeved if I'd be on four, four hands and knees picking up little orange uh, dots after after the fest. Uh, we put the word out that we did not want it. Nobody has directly confronted anyone in dot world and including myself of um, not to dot. So When you've been dotting this year, have you been cleaning up after any loose dots? The loose dots? Well, I don't know if they fall off, yeah, I mean, but I have, you know, my holster. Next. There's a trash can. There's no trash in now because I just emptied it. But. had dots that had dots with lines going through it, meaning no dots allowed. No dots. 
that's our band. It's like saying, oh, we're going to take away the beats from Mardi Gras. Yeah, right. I like to see you do that. Dots will be here forever. It's become part of the festival. Are you afraid of dots? No, you know, dots, I, it's, it's kind of a toss up because like sometimes people are afraid of dots. But I mean, in general, I, uh, I try not to, uh, you know, I, I'm open to new things. So dots are OK with me. I've actually seen people get semi angry, but they don't they don't get upset enough to do anything about it because they realize it's a joke. And usually the way you approach them really affects the, the outcome. Even though, even though you're approaching him on the sly, if, if you're not really sneaky about it or you don't push them, he, he's real gentle about it. So most people just accept it. People ought to have a sense of humor about it. But some of them don't. enough to realize that somebody's putting the brakes on this. If they don't like it, they don't have to come to the festival. We're going to stay here forever. Wait, are they I can I tell them. The what? I, mean, I don't care. Shut the dot up and get the hell out of here. Don't be sitting here trying to mess with my dot flow. Because that's like energy, man. You mess with my chi, it screws with me, and then I'm miserable, right? So we thought of maybe turning into camouflage dots for a year and just seeing what happens. <laughs> Fest is only once a year, but dogs will last forever. Let's dots today. It's not as bad this year, but we are still finding dots, and we would like it to cease and desist. What happens if dot or if dots are banned? It will implode. I will become one gigantic dot. I will come out of the dot incubator right on the heads of the folk fest office. Of the people that sat there and said that we're not allowed to have dots. I will kill him. I will maim him, and I will murder him. I just know that there's nowhere near as many dots as there was last year. I mean, if there's some, we can live with some. Dots live forever. We can't get rid of dots. They're entwined the fabric for the folk fest. I think the dots should prevail. Dots? Oh. If they outlaw dots, only outlaws will have dots. I even created another little daughter to carry on my legacy. I'm gone. These things are so harmless. They're stickers that tend to, you know, put a smile on people's faces. But it is about the banner. It is about your imagination. It's not about some goofy orange god. Here they come in the distance, voices talk to 